seconds, that's all it took for these two burglars to bust through the door, smash into the display cases, and walk away with up to $100,000 in jewelry and rare coins. It happened at the Estate Coin and Jewelry Galleria on Main Street in Sarasota. Fox 13's Kimberly Cuisan is out there live tonight. Kim, they have pretty good images of the pair. Are you think they're going to have any luck catching them? Well, they really have some good images, and as of right now, police say they haven't had any leads that we know of at this point in time, but they're hopeful that good surveillance footage taken by a neighboring business here will lead them to some names to match to those faces. They knew exactly what they were going for. These brazen thieves went for vintage coins and expensive jewelry. They were in and out in about 60 seconds. Sarah said a police say on Thursday around 1.15 in the morning, the pair pried open the back door of Estate Coin and Jewelry Galleria on Main Street. They were able to just rip the drapery off, smash the glass. Police estimate the goods they got away with range in value from fifty to $100,000. They grabbed coins, they grabbed jewelry as quick as they could, and they were back out the door. You always wonder, you know, that could have been us. That statement is a true reflection from Lisa Wolfgang of Milan Jewelers. Just the same day, police believe the same couple went into Milan Jewelers. They even have them captured here on surveillance footage. Police say the woman's long braid is just like the suspect seen in the recent burglary. I didn't really notice too much about them when they were here. It was only afterwards. Lisa says the pair never took off their sunglasses and asked questions that were rather unusual. They just had a very specific request, and that's not how people shop. Police hope to capture the pair before they strike again. Based on how they committed this crime, police say they could have done this before and want to stop them. It's frightening. That's really frightening. Now, I did speak to the owners here, and they tell me they are shaken up. They said that they can't even imagine what would have happened if they had been here when the burglary took place. And again, they're hopeful that those images will lead to an arrest. Sarasota Police is asking everyone to take a look at those images, to share them on social media, and to see if we can help identify them. Kelly, back to you. I, all right, we'll see how fast it takes to find them. Thank you so much, Kim.